uh, is that we are all the highest elected law enforcement official in our respective counties and have years of experience in dealing with local crimes that affect our residents. When it comes to gun violence, though, the federal government has really not led. Uh, it has failed uh, to do at least what some of us believe uh, it should be doing to protect citizens all over the country. The opportunity for us to join together as state prosecutors representing the major cities of all the states gives us, first of all, the opportunity to share what's working uh, in terms of local practice and local laws. That's important that we understand that. But secondly, it gives us the ability to make progress in enhancing public safety and diminishing gun violence state by state by state across the country. There was an analogy that was given this morning to marriage equality, and I've had the same conversation before I came out here, that marriage equality obviously took a decade or more, many decades, in order to reach a tipping point. But it didn't reach that tipping point until after state after state, incrementally by incrementally, uh, states began to understand this made sense, uh, to, uh, to test the convention that marriage equality legislation would never pass, and all of a sudden, critical mass was reached, speed occurred, and it happened. I believe, at least it's certainly my hope, and it's certainly my hope in the absence of federal leadership, that we have an opportunity, we have an obligation uh, to really focus on how to make our community safer, uh, understanding what laws work locally, how we can do a better job, and ultimately, I think it may be up to the states and to state prosecutors to really take on gun violence and hopefully bring the level of discussion up uh, to uh, the entire country in a manner that is going to really be meaningful.